on being a good writer, you have to be a good reader. Okay, so don't say you want to be a writer if you don't want to read. Because you learn how to write by reading other people's writing. So anyone that tells me they want to write, I say go pick up some books and read them. Pick up anything, a magazine, read plays, read poems, read so that words, so that you hear, that you're able to translate words, the image of words on a page into voices in your head and stories and the ways those words, because if you think about it, it's just paper and ink, right? But how do you take that and build stories, build magic? It's, it's, it's an, a fascinating art. So you get the elements of that by reading. So I encourage anyone that wants to be a writer to read. Number two, I think it's nice to have a journal. It's a safe place for you to write, where you can write whatever comes to mind. Uh, there's a book called The, the Artist's Way, and encourages artists to get up in the morning and do what they call morning pages. So it may be you know, three, word, three pages a day where you just free write. And what that does is it allows you, it allows you to clear your mind, but it allows you to become comfortable with sharing your thoughts, your innermost um, ideas, things that sometimes you may not even speak aloud on the page. And you're able to develop a relationship with the page so that you can show up fully. So I think that the journal does that because it doesn't have to be anything, right? You don't have to edit it. You don't have, no one else is going to read it. It can just be whatever it's going to be. So I think reading and journaling are processes very distinct from actually sitting down and trying to create something um, that support the writing work in a very good way. And then beyond that, write, get to the page, spend the time, do it because a lot of times it's the idea of writing that gets in the way of actually writing. So write, if it's two, two words, write it. If it's two sentences, write it, just get it out. If you wanna create it for something that someone else is going to read, there are processes in place for you to do that. There's editing, you have to go back and make sure that it's gonna be something that, um, that others will be able to engage with and enter. But most importantly, just get it on the page. So, um, so those are the three things I would say is read, journal, and then allow yourself to, to write whatever it is the medium that you're gonna write and be it a poem or a novel or a medical article, <laughs> just write.